hello guys and this is Sumadur and in this video we'll be going over through the module F simulation um, from the textbook uh, 12th edition of Hopper's management by Heiser, Render and Munson so Simulation is helpful uh, when we have to do what if scenarios and it's uh, too costly to wait for the time or the scenario. So we do a hypothetical calculation by running um, uh, scenarios instead of waiting them for the for them to actually happen. Uh, and this tells us what is likely to happen in the future and whatever happens in the future we can be better prepared. Uh, this could be either the forecasting and the demand when we run through different simulated scenarios as to what if this happens then what's uh, our sales are going to be or if there are certain type of failures or the patients arriving in a hospital or what are the breakdowns expected to happen in a car and things like that okay
Now let us say, what if this table is not available to you when either you don't have access to the textbook or once you graduate, you may not want to keep using the same randomly generated numbers. Then we uh, can use the functionality of the Excel itself, where either you can use rand function to create random numbers, or you can create uh, use the, the function of rand between, and then you specify the lower and the upper limit between which you want to generate the random numbers. Okay. If you were to uh, use either rand, then it will generate the numbers between 0 and 1. If you were to generate rand between, it will generate the random numbers between the lower and the upper limit that you specify. Now, in, in our case, since we've already set up our lower limit and upper limit uh, in the two-digit format, so going from 0 to 100%, so it is better if you were to multiply rand by 100, and then we round it up. Uh, such that there are no decibel places, okay? At this point, if you were to hit F9, those numbers will change every time you hit an F9. And if you press the F9 and you hold on to it there, then the numbers will change a couple of thousand times every second, depending on the processor speed of your machine. So that is, uh, there are sophisticated softwares that allows you to do this 10,000 times, 100,000 times to calculate the corresponding average number of failures. Let's say in this case, in this question, that's what we are using our random numbers uh, for, because every random number ge generated corresponds to a type of failure. Therefore, if the random number changes, then the, ran uh, the, the number of failures will also change. Now here, let's check the formula. If for every random number that I'm generating uh, currently, still refers to the same table, and returns me uh, the number of failures. So since that is working fine, so if you hit F9, every time uh, uh, the random number refreshes and the failures uh, also refreshes. So therefore your average failure rate will also change. So as I, as I was talking, you, using at risk, which is installed in room number uh, 107 in bit building, um, you can use at risk from Palisade Corporation or you can use uh, many other uh, easy add-ins to the Excel that will do the 10,000 iterations for you instead of you having to hold on to F9 and then keep on collecting the, the data for the average number that changes, uh, average failure. And once you've collected enough average failure, then you can say, okay, what is the, the chance that it will be 95% between 2.5 and 2.8 failures, or what is the, the chance that it'll be 95% or more um, between, let's say, 3.5 and 4 failures, and so on. So that becomes a lot more powerful statement without actually waiting for enough 10,000 years to wait, or uh, 10,000 uh, months to, to wait, uh, to come up with the data as to what is the most likely failure going to be moving forward in future. So this is uh, very powerful. Uh, again, it's it's not uh, relatively difficult to design the technical part of the modeling, but it's it's more of an art as to how best can you uh, incorporate various factors. Uh, this could be useful either in inventory or in predicting the demand, wherein a lot of things are uncertain. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. 